So, hello and welcome everyone back to Alan Wake. To be awake with Alan Wake. And uh, in Twitch and in YouTube. And hello, Scrap Lord, and hello, hello, Chim Chim as well, that you are joining up. Let us go and continue with being awake with Alan Wake. Yes, too much. Hard tribe, Alan Wake. Previously on Alan Wake. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a white again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Good girl. Episode 3. And the ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? Nightingale. He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. This cannot Let's be this quick, huh? a coincidence. Always the Nightingale. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. Good. As I was saying, Al... I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, what a you ain't wrong, surprise. Mr. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. Yay. I'm a god fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway... There was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane mm. was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970 and Zane went down with the island. Went down with the island. But yeah, Nightingale, wasn't that the guy in the Morrowind who was the evil guy in the real Parencia after all? So Illuminati definitely confirmed. A sweet name too, of course. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's I trail. am getting echo too by Barry speaking. I don't know why. But definitely, definitely an echo. And yes, definite connections. We just read just about Nightingale. Me. Yeah, it's yeah. not far. Yeah, yeah, you are echoing too. I'm not sure why. I di there wasn't echoes last time around, unless this area is just echoing, so to speak. But strange. No other sounds are echoing other than their voices, though. And we didn't echo, I'm, I'm pretty sure. As in Alan Wake. Um, boat like that. That seems very logical, too. Why do people want to live here if there's so many weird things going on in here? So. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. Hey, it's it also would take echoing. A tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Just fall from the sky. Hey. Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just move. And yeah, I, I don't know if we can trust people with echoes in their voices like this. And I don't remember them previously. Randy's dogs open. Hot dog, chili dog, corn dog, dagger dog, the famous dog, the big dog, monster dog, belly buster, oh, give me a trailer. Break, mister. Can we just get a move on? Trailer dasher, a dasher, trailer trash dog. It's not at least sheep though. Belly buster is the most expensive. Special plates, granny clothes, sh glam shouter, a sparkling river special, Asgardian chicken parmesan, cauldron lake deep fried plates, I chicken fried steaks, rapid food, salad, <laughs> salad with chicken, 
Yeah, it's rabbit food because it's salads. Yes, small side salad and extra dressings. Yes. Rabbit salad. Uh. <laughs> and yes, excuse me, sir. I'm reading about the hot dogs on offer. Yes. Yeah, I woke up this morning and there was a boat there. I don't know if you'd upon it. Yep. It's not, it it's gets just... better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? Ah. She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. I thought you were in a hurry, and then you go into a trash can. I was already, like, wanting to ask you, oh, is that where she lives? Is this the trailer she lives in? Because you came into a trash can, mister. Are you so in a hurry that you want to be going into a trash can for no good reason? <sighs> <laughs> Make them sound evil when there's echo. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Apparently we don't want to answer, though. But Rose and Marigold... Alrighty, I'm not sure indeed... I'm, I just changed the audio a little bit. I don't know what I could be doing to get rid of that exactly. So, yeah. Well, let's, I guess, try to go and meet with Rose. That seems to be a little bit of a bad door, too. Welcome to... to... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. You really think that there's nothing wrong with Rose? Hey, this Rose? is really good. Rose. So, uh, yes. It my manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. The tricks are a little bit spiced, I think. What? <laughs> A little bit spiced with something. That's definitely what was needed. Obviously. Yeah, probably just a bug. Two flowers for a name. Mm. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Barbara's skin. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. So the manuscript isn't you even finished yet. Turn the lights on. The lights on. Right. Back to work, boy. Just a lovely. I I guess we are here to work on the the manuscript though. I'm not sure how much we are going to be able to get the, the done, considering... I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it. But I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the mm. complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story the seems Thomas to be Zane. shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Thomas Zane was the guy we... Uh, who's books were in that place where we went with our five originally and hello Dayunta good evening for you too or to you too well it seems like a lovely little 
girls' room where we woke up. Believe change. Ah, lovely book cover first immediately on the left. Yes, Scoot. Don't get stuck, please. Not something that I would have preferred to happen. Hey, there's Alan Wake. There's our books coming up. <laughs> I I don't think I can crouch. Can't read the, the, the what's what's said in there, but what are the titles for the books, but they're definitely our books. Good. Ah, so cute little mammoth. Cute mammoth. And of course is that Alan Wake? I think it is. Um the sudden stop. I think Rose has been worshipping us of some sort of a little bit. <laughs> we all know you'd read them if you could. Yes, yes, I would. Um, yes. Great. Sure. Lovely. Seems like a lovely place. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Well, hey, at least we got the coffee now. That was very good Welcome coffee. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First Barry. refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day. Come back soon. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> oh, Barry. All right. I deserve more money. I'm so <laughs> handsome. Yeah, yeah, Barry, you totally are. Return to sender named a uh, book. That one, on the other hand. <sighs> Poor Rose, dude, though. Um, I'd like to get you out of here, Barry, but I'm not sure how to do that exactly. So, how how do we do that? Or do we really My just leave Barry behind? My gun and flashlight behind? were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, just as well is not awake to hear you. That shame him. Yeah, good, that. <laughs> yeah, first refill free you need. I would definitely want to be drinking more of that coffee. Sounds like a perfect idea. So, random calls, the police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, yay. Great. Why didn't you just come and visit and see what was going on? You wouldn't have needed to be starting to pol uh, call the police. Good Mr. Randolph, who brought us here. Ay, ay, ay. But, of course. Of course. Sounds perfect. Hmm. So, we need to somehow get Barry into a car. Get to a car first, apparently, for some reason, are we somehow going to just drive into there? Hey, there's, the, there's a radio that we can listen to. No, we can't listen to it? That's... Oh, we can. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all... <laughs> Tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here. Try to make sense of it all, but uh, I ain't been drinking either. You know, I just well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a uh, you know uh, argument with Danny. You know, Danny. Danny. And, uh, 
I get in trouble with the law, you know, and I'm, I'm just, well... Or something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, and there's something in the air tonight, man. Mom. I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, no. I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's mm. really something else, huh? Nice music, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure this is gonna <laughs> work. <laughs> Apparently, it works to killing us, though. Works perfectly for that, Team Jim. Thanks for that. You want me to die? <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Yes, it's a little bit of a deadly wheelbarrow, I would say. How could you have known? You have played the game before, you should know. You should know better than to advise me to do stuff that will kill me. Hey, there's another copy, though. <laughs> Alan, can you even operate a wheelbarrow? Yep. I don't know how barrows work in this game. Hmm. I guess how it's understandable. That's a kind of a weird broken part there. Well, things seem peaceful for now. That guy is just standing there. And I guess he is... I, I don't trust it exactly. Mm. <laughs> if you take damage from a wheelbarrow, you're doing it wrong. Let's fly in a wheelbarrow <laughs> accident. Yeah, I'm sure that a lot of people have been saying that. That's happened to a lot of people. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Nightingale. You're, not you're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Okay. Okay. I used to be an adventurer until I took a barrow to the knee. Yes, totally. Okay. I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. You goddamn maniac. Great. Well. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Make it easy, Well. I I guess into this direction maybe. I have no idea. Well, we're gonna be going to meet in the... Uh, like... <sighs> that's the kind of police that would be preferable not to have that just immediately shoot to kill. Absolutely. Immediate. First thing you do is uh, threaten to shoot to kill and even start to shoot immediately pretty much. No ex investigations there. at all. There he goes! Yeah, yeah, there I go, yes. Okay, men. Keep your eyes peeled. He's gonna try to make it through here. Where is he? Oh, damn. What the hell am I supposed to do if there's that sort of a red glow? I don't know. God damn it, where did he go? Wait! Where did he go? Escape the police. I'm trying my very best to escape the police, but not quite that easy to do. I'm not sure if I can just stop either, considering the fact that there's freaking this type of light looking for us. Okay, let's just go. Uh, small Down America is a pretty terrible place, apparently. Yes, totally. It seems to be. Okay, space to just get up in the here. 
seems to be going okay otherwise at least we got through that spot for now that is there seems to be another manuscript page too so John, that's something on, guys. We need to head him off. but like they could go and have a look for example that the there happens to be a situation that our for example best guy or the other guy has been um dozing off been drinking something unpleasant at all <laughs> do you think that the small town Finland would be as terrifying? I guess it could be terrifying, but the police wouldn't be exactly like that, I wouldn't think, personally. The Dark Presence sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Mm, Barbara Jacker's skin. So it was the Barbara Jacker, the, the, the rider, the woman. It was hungry and in pain. Writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. So it is, uh, she is basically darkness. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. So it had opened its eyes when it had, uh, when we had arrived into here. <laughs> Small towns here are like Silent Hill. <laughs> totally. How do you guys survive? I don't know. I don't know. You should ask Tayunda, I guess. He could at least get, bring, uh, tell a little bit more now when I'm trying to survive at the actual game in the meantime. So yeah, I don't actually remember how the controls worked. Um, the police... Uh, how did the controls work? Now I have to be thinking. Okay. Well, I didn't... Well, that car happened anyways. Uh, something bad happened to that police car. I didn't even have the actual guns or the flashlight right now, after all, so. Come in, Agent Nightingale. This is Sheriff Breaker. Over. Nightingale, over. What on earth is going on? <laughs> My deputies tell me you fired at Wake and he didn't have a gun. You almost hit a civilian instead. Over. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. I don't have time for this. Well, make the time. You can't just go shooting at people in my town. Over. I'm a federal agent pursuing a fugitive. You want to discuss my message, Sheriff? Make an appointment. Over. <laughs> Too many questions, Jim. I'm on my way. Out. I see. The suspect was last sighted running along the gorge that leads westward from the trailer park. All units are advised that the suspect may be armed. Approach I'm not armed yet. I hopefully it will be a little bit later on. But yes, I don't have anything yet. I guess that's the correct place considering there's the light and all. But I'm kind of wondering if there's anything else in these places then than just the light in the darkness. Is that a manuscript page? It looks like a manuscript page. So I think I would like to get that. Yay, I found a manuscript page. <laughs> Yeah, what happens in Finland stays in Finland, totally, 100%. Yep, you have to come over and see. Rose visited by the dark presence. Yes, we saw a little bit of it, but uh, if it tells us more of it. Yep, also good snipers in winter, totally. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Yay. <sighs> poor Rose. Poor, poor Rose. But hey, at least we found another page. Yeah, it might be better to visit uh, here in uh, summer. Besides, then you can be experiencing the very long um, summer days 
when the sun hardly goes down at all. Well, it's something special. Right now, there's a lot of darkness, a lot of fear, of course, as well, then. Mm -hmm. I guess they're still looking for us. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Not quite just only then, Chris. Sometimes I'm sure, this yes. Over here! I could imagine that hey, there's what darkness it? coming to them. Oh, yes. Quite clearly, shouldn't be in the forest in the night when you don't know how to deal with it. Help me, Andy! You should know better. Escape the police or escape the dark force is the question. Which should we be truly more this worried horror about? This was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Indeed. The light went off again. No light for us. No safety in the darkness. Well, another police car taken. Totally. Bigfoot is a but I'm not in the habit of jumping to conclusions. That tends to come back and bite you in the ass. Out. That nightingale. You can't trust nightingales, no no no. Nightingales just this one just seems to be extremely stupid nightingale. Maybe the other nightingale was too, considering he trusted Parencia when he clearly shouldn't have. But well <laughs> Uh, Americans only having to deal with, what, 12 hours of darkness? Pretty much. Pretty much, I guess. Depends, of course, in, like, if you live in Alaska, that's a little bit different. That still belongs into the USA. So, or if you talk about the whole of America, there's a South America and Canada and such places. So, what is America? Stus. Just asking questions because I can. You on the ground. Hold it right there. There's nowhere to run. Uh, birds. Uh, yay. The darkness seems to be sort of protecting us right now when we don't have any light source of our own, which is kind of very strange. Maybe they just have something more to deal with right now, rather than us. I don't know. <laughs> Alice can still get me disrespect. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of strange, though. Why do the monsters not come after us in this situation? Or have we reached a understanding of swords? It's sort of a good question. Use. Well, let's have a look into that fire. Uh, Doggle Zoom. What's that place? Is that... Driving? Something? Who knows? Nonetheless, it's nice to have this here. We can zoom a little bit better. Can we zoom somewhere else? There's definitely something there. There's a coffee. Coffee that we have to get. Definitely. Absolutely. Is there anything else that I can see? Other than the flames far away, and then that. In the night, we just will be zooming in and out on this. That's a good way to spend our time. Oh. So, is there anything interesting inside here, then? Yes, there is. Coffee. Okay. And then, radio. Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane. We got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were... Um... Hey, what are you do? Come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over! Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. 
Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both of them. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, Fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. A lot in common, eh? Well, interesting. It's just a bed here. Random bed. Ooh, another one that we can use. And yes, needs a lot of coffee. So, what's important about this light? Was the lower speed below this? I can see the lights this? at the radio station in the distance. Yes, I could indeed. You aren't wrong about that. Uh, I didn't mean to yet stop using it though. Can I see anything else of interest? I did want to go and visit in there at least. Though, and then there's something there. I don't know what that place is. I can't... That seems to be saying radio station. Hmm. Mayhap. Not sure. <sighs> yeah, it might be that Alan Wake is just hallucinating all of this because of all the coffee he's drinking. That's not that bad of a idea, to be honest. We have been drinking a lot of coffee. Just a teeny tiny bit. Still needing to be escaping the police, though. Not twitching anymore, is he? I cannot say. You guys might know better than I do. I haven't actually ever really drank a lot of coffee. I'd rather drink tea. So I've never really been drinking coffee, so I couldn't say. I'm sure you guys got more experience in coffee, on the other hand. At least... Most of you. So do tell. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Coal mine. So that was the place we needed to meet that one guy at. Hmm. Rose. Lovely. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. But why did the darkness also help us? But okay, so we would even have to go and investigate over here. Hmm. Yes, I know Twitch streams, but as sus, if, if someone would drink a lot, could maybe cause that too. But... But... Pun understood. Hmm, you also drink most of the tea now. No one drinking coffee, even though we're collecting so much coffee here. Or at least a there lot of coffee. There was no power to the searchlight. Oh, so we have to be able to activate this thing. Right. Well, here's our coffee again. Need all of this. And to be honest, he's collecting always these thermoses, so <laughs> it's a lot of coffee he's drinking. Hmm, you did used to get a horrible eyelid twitch when you had too much coffee. Yeah, maybe... Maybe Alan Wake is suffering from something of a like. I cannot say. Or we can at least think he does. It would kind of explain stuff. And let's start this. So we can get the electricity working. Yes. Even though that looked a little bit weird how it was. Probably then can go and actually focus this on this thing over here. The old generator cogged hmm. out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Fix it? In what way? What way could I fix this? But now you're used to it. Hmm. Oh, kicking it. That's the best way to fix anything. Just kick it in place. And it will be just fine. That's always the way to fix machines, right? Well, it is uh, it is doing it now. Yes. Why can't we kick it again? Well, we don't need it anymore because it was already pointing into it anyway. So, yeah, it lasted long enough as it is. Okay. 
it, I do miss my gun though, and last light. Kick the fuel tank, yes. That what we had to do. And yes, it works every time. It's the best way to fix things. As we have learned in all of the games to just kick things, hit them hard enough, it's it's gonna start working. I'm sure like uh, if your laptop just decides not to start working for a while or some stuff, just hit it a little bit or some stuff, and I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. Ah, another gate. Swept into the darkness. But hey, did we get our flashlight? Woohoo! Yay! I need to remember how to exactly use this or how did the, the focus... I think it was with the right mouse button right to focus really. And then it used the batteries and we needed to reload the batteries and everything like that. Hmm, giving a small smack usually works surprisingly enough. Yeah, more often than not. I don't need to even be using my focusing powers even though I could. You also need to be dealt with though. Good. Gates purified. We do not... This seems to be still flickering a little bit. Not anymore though. But for a while it was. Mm, your bathroom light needs a little nuts to work properly. Alrighty. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an Ooh. ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Okay, again, it works like the other Team flares. One, report. Over. I can't report to him, her, Team probably. I, need a Over. I, I, come on, guys. Talk to me. Come I would in. love to. Over. I would love to. I wonder how the flashbang exactly will work. Exactly, but we'll see, we'll see. Mm, you want to fix the starter motor in my car with the hammer. Mm, that's been the only time for you. Why should I be throwing the flashbang yet, though, if there's nothing to throw it at? Like, sure, I can throw it later when there's actually a need to be throwing it, but why now? There's no good reason to throw it yet. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, nice. So yeah, then I don't need a gun when the flashbang just destroys them, purifies them completely. <laughs> They're gone. Isn't going to go over well. I guess so, but the car just crashed and everything. I, I, I still would like to sort of communicate. <sighs> Tell my perspective. Yep. One flashbang, one kill. And apparently there's loads more of them. I don't remember if I would have needed to press the switch that button on the other hand. I don't think there was more. I hope not, because I don't have more of this. I should probably be saving them up a lot, because I only got three left. So that's not a lot. So I probably do need to try to hurry a little bit. Though, there's at least a light here for now, that is. Do I have to deal with that guy? There's a light here. Hmm, probably do when I get just out of here, but hey, at least there's some more flashbangs. <laughs> How does he avoid flashbanging himself? That is a very good question. Yes. One kill, rather more kills to be honest. And but here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me too. Uh, what's going on? Do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. 
It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. Training our yeah, acrobatic here, 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 skills. As as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Totally. Sounds good. Sounds good. Lovely music, too. Quite clearly. Let's see. Just some light uh, <laughs> exercise while. Yes, absolutely. Not gonna hit me with that. Ooh. I just investigated a little bit if there would be something interesting over there, but I didn't see anything, so I think we're gonna be needing to head off. Forward, that is. Nonetheless. And now there's pretty much everywhere some of these enemies. Use the flashbang. I'm doing a little bit riskily because I want to be getting them all <laughs> almost with one grenade. So I'm losing health in that when I'm trying to avoid their hits. But on the other hand, I did get all four with one. And yes, acrobatics is increased. Okay. <laughs> Just use the flashbang, damn it. I think I used even two now because I tried to press it a couple of times. <sighs> Alan Wake, why did you do that? Yes, at least it was a multi kill, but I'm not sure if I even used. I think I used a couple of the grenades, which is a shame, but can't be helped, I guess. It was a waste to use like that, though. Yes, I was thinking that there's more likely someone there. Quite a few of these police guys here. You didn't use it quickly enough. You use it too slowly. Alan Wake, that's your problem. Uh, at least I got all seven flashbangs back in this fight, so hey. At least I haven't wasted any, so I can be happier with that. I just try to be relatively effective in a, in a lot good way. I think this should be pretty good, but it didn't kill that one. Sniff, sniff. And it's a shame when that doesn't kill it. Has to be doing that. Oh well, you too slow, Alan. Yes, he was too slow. I tried to use it, but he just refused. Just refused to do it when he should have. Well. Yes, now then there's again tree. Ow. Or was there a tree? Yes, there is. But why is that guy stuck in there? It's kind of a problem when he is stuck there like that. Use it. I'm trying to save my flashbacks as much as I can. Uh, which may not be the most best idea. But on the other hand, we have very limited amount of them. So, yeah, that's the problem in my eyes. Here, I guess I shouldn't be trying to save them up too much, though. I did press to use, but again, it just goes off so slowly. That's the problem. I don't take into account the fact well enough that it goes off so slowly. Like, it just, yeah. It just so slowly does that. Okay, that should be pretty good. It still didn't die, this guy. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. It was... They were all right there, and it, he didn't die. <laughs> You're going to master flashback at the end of this section. Maybe. I could hope so. But it's so annoying when they're right there, all of them, but it didn't manage to get them. Yeah. At least I got them all now with that one, so that's decent. But of course I need again back at least to a decent health before I can think of going into the next section. 
it does very slowly recharge at least the nutter point, at least that health. Because that's a little bit too little, you die way too quickly then. But on the other hand, these guys don't like to be waiting on there when they want to be coming. At all, which is annoying. So is there anything interesting here with the car? Probably not, really. No even anything that we can hear from it. It would be nice to also see if there's any other things around, like journal notes or sus, but... I don't really feel like going and trying to investigate such things now, then. That was at least okay, I guess. Use of the flashback just throwing behind us just quickly and then rushing forward, avoiding all the throwing axes and everything. <laughs> Kido might as well join SWAT after this. Possibly, possibly. Bye. I don't wanna freeze. Stupid. Guy didn't get destroyed by that. Like, he throws a little bit off, after all, so you would have to be taking that always into account well enough. But at least we got here to I the hope Main radio station. Me a car to get to the coal mine. very compassionate, yes. Since they in that shouldn't go and care about the people on the trailer park, but rather the other people other in the other places. Very compassionate, yes. It's interesting though to come actually to the isn't he in a pretty remote place with this radio station or radio station anyway, so like considering this guy who we met in the ferry who wanted to interview and all that as well. Kind of strangely in a very remote location, I would say. Well, there's Gaffy that I do want to be going and getting, though. Obviously. So what do these signs tell us? The night all the voice of bat made all night, every night. Early birds, start your day right at uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. isn't really that early, but, you know. 97.6 FM KPF FM Bright Falls Radio. Yeah, a lot of radio stations are remote big transmitters. Yes, that transmitter. But are all of the people that work in those spots and all that in these sort of a very remote locations? That was what I was like wondering. That he does work very close to this. <laughs> I start my day at 10 and, and still feel guilty. Yeah, I wouldn't describe 10 a.m. to be really early. Like early bird. That's not early though. It's... I, I, I would describe it still being morning, but it's definitely not early. Early bird. I would definitely describe early early bird to be quite different than that. <laughs> you wake up at 10 a.m. too. <sighs> oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer oh dear. Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. I, I don't really necessarily have time for this, sorry. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Yeah, police immediately. You got away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. Here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. And then he immediately the shot. The with you? There's a civilian in there. Yep. I'm not sure I have time for this, yes. Huh. 
Well... I'll get you yet, even if it kills me, you hear me? <sighs> you hear me, H.P. Lovecraft? H.P. Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book, The Sudden Stop. It was sudden probably stop. good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. So it seems. Oh, that's going to train. Interesting. Well, let's see about this, though. Yeah, Nightingale doesn't seem like a very nice guy. Just saying. Mm, super tense from not being able to view the beats without subtitles. Mm. Nightingale in the radio station. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Rage and humiliation. He's enraged and humiliated. Oh, flares? Question mark? Yes, yeah, a flare. But... Okay, so now they're... Oh, where did my flashbangs go? I had more flashbangs. Now I just say that no, you shall not have those flashbangs in no more. <sighs> yeah, it does sound like a nightingale. It certainly does. All nightingales don't... It is a pretty good villain name, yes, but... Definitely don't usually seem like a very... I think I need to be starting this up. At least those the guys don't necessarily want to be coming next to us during that time. Ooh. We got the revolver. Woohoo, we got gone again. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Lovely stuff. And the flare worked. Uh, perfectly. <laughs> no flashbacks for you. Yes, and I had some more flashbacks, but no. Apparently no. Doesn't matter how well you did on the previous section, yeah. That was really sad, though. Really sad when you can't have your plus banks, which you earned. I earned those plus banks, damn it. Let's just wait here for a moment before then actually going and adventuring forward. I guess into this direction. As good of a direction as any. Die, my good little friend. Nice, nice. Yes, can reload the gun. We finally got ourselves a pistol. <laughs> Give flashbacks, David. Well, we did deserve them, though. We saved up some flashbacks. We should be able to still have them. Why did we drop them? Like, for no good reason. It's totally my question here, though. Ah, I pressed the freaking thing, but a little bit too late. I was thinking that there has to be somewhere, someone more, but... I guess you're the only one now, though. So I can just wait you out. Easily. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was <laughs> almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Interesting. Quite intriguing. Race to train the bullshit. Intriguing. Is it going out? Is it not going to be on anymore? I'm like... <laughs> Aww. Can I put it on again, though? Yes. It just doesn't stay on for very long, for some reason. Uh, I regretted leaving my flashbacks behind, but I felt the next session of my journey would be too hard with them. I'll make it easy, goddammit. <laughs> and now I do actually have one flashback, so even less of a sense. Hmm, there's quite a lot of these in here, though. At least we did raise a checkpoint. Just interesting how many there is of this. Like, there's that, and then there's that, and then there's one here. The darkness controls the Taken. What a surprise, I would have never guessed. Never. Hmm. 
kind of feels that this would be for the purpose of oh yeah, shotgun. Yeah, fighting. Oh, god. I tried to press the button, but I couldn't for some reason. I, I very much pressed the button to stop the flare, but you didn't for whatever reason. I did press it though. That's really annoying when you don't do something that I ask of you to do, Alan Wake. Let's at least put that on, and I guess I could be putting this on before, before I'm going inside here to pick up these things. Well, yes, surprises, surprises. I'm so surprised. Like, I pressed this, but no. <sighs> I'm not sure if who of them have the... Thing and who don't, which is a problem, of course. And it's so impossible to do that then. <sighs> it's impossible to do, but this is going to be a difficult spot to do for sure. Hmm. I'm not sure, did I have still my pistol selected or not? I wonder. I don't know if I should be using the flashbang first or that one. Yeah, definitely a little bit difficult. Need to definitely be using these, but yeah, I said a little bit difficult. Difficult one, I would say. I still kind of feel like going into that direction, but yeah. Did you actually reload the shotgun? Yeah, you have the shotgun at least for now. You really took a long time to do that. <laughs> Just freaking drop that flare. <sighs> we are so almost dead. Turn on. Thank you. And there's someone behind us quite clearly. Which is great. Great, great news. I don't know if someone else is behind us. I think you're pretty much otherwise done. Which is at least something. And you are someone that I can also shoot. I guess I did it now. Took a while though. And I think I got a lot of them with the flashbang there. So... That was a good one though, at least. Yeah, that was a... That took a few tries to do though. Yeah, totally very easy. Too easy. I would like to pick up the Trevor ammo, to be honest. I think I would like to do such a thing. Was there more of that yellow here somewhere that I could be reading? Is there something on the rooftop, considering there's a, like, this thing going into there? Just, just kind of wondering. I gotta at least check it out. It seems possible for me to at least walk here. For reasons. Not exactly sure what is supposed to be the reason, other than, okay, I, I got into a roof, but... Well, nothing seems to be here otherwise, but... I got into here, that's something. Ah. Skippity, skippity, in the, in the, there. There's a manuscript page. I think that's the right way to go. But there's a page here for us. So we can go and pick that up first. Yay, page. Happy <laughs> old kid. What, what now? Wake at that by a bulldozer. A master of the fallen logs. Yes, totally. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. 
Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then it came for me. Who is this? It. Uh, fluid board for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and launched heavily in the yard. Does it mean the bulldozer came for us? Me or something else? <laughs> Master of the Fallen would have been funnier. Maybe. Maybe. Why not then? Master of the Fallen. Hmm. Well, this way then. Thermos. Absolutely important. I hear shadows scattering around us. Soon they will attack from one way or another, probably from behind. Most likely from behind when they do, but there's at least a manuscript page. So we can listen to that first. Sarah distrusts the Nightingale. Well, she should kind of clearly. I <laughs> gotta love a game that foreshadows itself. Yes, but as such, that is indeed a pretty good foreshadowing in a sense because it doesn't actually nonetheless tell what exactly is going to happen. It just tells in overall that, yeah, something like this is going to happen, but you don't know exactly what. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. You don't say. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Federal business was all he'd say. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> Nightingale is an asshole. Um, you don't say after all of this? You don't say. Is that the bulldozer or is that the train? I think that is the train. Maybe the train will come to us? Who knows? Hey, at least there's some emergency stuff here. Batteries and shotgun ammo and... Some other stuff. A lot of battery batteries at the very least, yes. Hmm. Train. Yeah, no no more flares though. Just a few shots in the shotgun and then pistol. You Hello? Are... The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful and cooperate. The connection had been terrible. But that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow. Yes. But she had called me. You don't say that she sounded a little bit calm. More calmer than she should. I think she was affected by the darkness as well. If you consider Rose. Rose was very calm. Didn't sound quite herself. Of course, a little bit differently, not herself. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. How exactly it will play out. Definitely the train is suddenly going to be crashing at us. Surely. When we are next to the train tracks. Uh, where's the bulldozer? On the other hand. Okay. Wake attacked by a possessed object. I'm well. I said that some sort of object at least. Train is an object too. Though maybe not exactly the same. But nonetheless. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Intriguing. Quite intriguing. So, is there something in here, or is this another way to come into here? There's definitely at least yellow stuff in here. I think that has to be for the 
for world. Yes, I was thinking that there does seem to be this area, and definitely there is arrows and yellow marks. So this is a secret place with stuff, nice stuff. I hope there's the flamey flame icon. Nothing exactly here, but then this supplies and revolver ammo. And I mean full revolver ammo. Yay. Sadness. Sadness it is. Well, flares, batteries. Hey, at least I got a couple of flares. So not too bad. But no, nothing more. I pressed the freaking thing. You need to be dealt with. As such, this is enough as it is. You don't need to even be using anything special. That is totally fine. Yes, full ammo. This sounds... Uh, yeah. <laughs> full ammo is very sad, but at least I can pick up some now. You know? So, that attack was uh, in a sense nice because it allowed me to pick more ammo. Which is nice, and I have pretty much full ammo still, even though there was an attack against me. Still full on the ammos, pretty much at least. I'm not sure if it is exactly the same amount that I used, but close enough, close enough, I would say. I could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Okay, so that's our aim, to find a car from the fair house somehow okay so we are going to be going uh, through that that's where the pipe is gonna attack us too I'm sure <sighs> oh dear just uh, let's go then I guess fight a pipe pipe sounds like a perfect perfect thing to be fighting for sure dark pipes and trains are at least going on top of us, so in a sense, trains did come at us, in a sense, considering it's going right above us. Great. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything uh, <laughs> in its path. <laughs> okay, well, hey, that happens. I tried to jump over that gap, and then he jumped into that gap. Oh well. Another environmental death. I'm catching up on them at least. Uh, the environmental deaths are relatively close at least. Vibes of darkness, hmm, if you say so. Maybe that is clearly, yes. Vibes of the darkness, totally. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its path. Okay, maybe that was the better choice to try to go through this side. Jimmy is totally an expert. Yes. What the hell? There is definitely darkness. Ow. It's time to kill me. And it very successfully did. Maybe I should use the flare there. Hmm. But they take themselves seriously. Hmm. They're not high up on the hierarchy of dark weapons. Hmm. They're a little sensitive about it. So it seems. So it seems. But I, yeah, I think flare is a good option. Because it's very difficult for me to even really know what I need to uh, aim at after all. Quite difficult for me to know what to aim at. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. Yes. And it was taking over everything in its path. What Pretty much. Hell? I'm trying to do my best this year at least. Try to at least put the flare here so maybe I don't get that much damage from all of these freaking pipes that try to destroy me. Ow. That's not a good thing for me. I'm almost dead again. I'm not sure how to. 
do that a lot better though. I don't know if something is behind me or not and everything. Okay, some more dead. Okay, well, dead and dead. De destroyed, I guess. Ow. I was thinking that something's behind me. This is a deadly place. Deadly. Very deadly. Yes, no, no reading books for the moment, but there's always some journals around and around, so... Uh, Alan Wake is doing the reading for now, pretty much. For us. Uh, yeah, next next Friday, probably, yes. <laughs> Tonight it's the writer's dilemma. Pretty much, yes, you are you are correct about this. Writer's dilemma, writer's block, and uh, reading your own book. Everything is being possessed, even wheelbarrows. As such, I guess I'm not too surprised about the wheelbarrow. To be honest, wheelbarrows uh, we already kind of knew and had to come to the conclusion were evil previously. I don't trust anything anymore. Anything can become evil and destroy us. If they can, that is. Is the stream working any better for you, by the way, now, Mikey the Warmongerer? I hope it is. Manuscript page. Let's listen to this then. As I said, they're still reading, but not from me. Wake and the dark presence in the lodge. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. Not I took Gale. a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Inside the lodge with me. Okay, unless it's great to hear that it's working great for you now. Um, and how is the weather? And wheelbarrow versus demon for a certainty. We already know it. We almost died to it already earlier. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Darkness could possess anything, but yeah, I like Stephen King too, after all. Even though I haven't read all of his books, but, uh, what, what did it say? Hold down E to switch heavy duty flashlight. What's a heavy duty flashlight? Is it a lot better? I don't know. Why is a heavy... What's the difference between a heavy duty and a flashlight? Tell me, guys, what is the difference between a heavy duty flashlight or just a flashlight? What's the difference? I don't know. I, uh, I assume this is an upgrade, though. Mm. Like it's an option to switch to heavy duty. <laughs> yeah, I... I would think that this is an upgrade and you're supposed to change, so... Yes. I assume that everything is going to go into hell again here. Just a, just a thought. There's coffee though. Need to go and pick up the coffee. For a certainty. It's an extended magazine flashlight. Flashlight. Right. Okay. Okay then. Unless there's coffee everywhere. So we can stay awake with Alan Wake and everything. It's just something that you always have to stay. At. Even though you... It's like, we've said it so many times already, it's in the title and everything, but... <sighs> too much ammo. But it's something that you gotta say. Heavy duty flashlight is heavier and has a sense of duty. <laughs> totally. That's exactly what it's about. Well, I guess then that it is, uh, because it feels a sense of duty, it makes it better. <laughs> yeah, all other... Last lines are like duty, completely for losers only. That duty part. Oh, it's just the normal enemies Did coming attacking us. Warlock. No, should I? I just, 
I just got up. Try to do it without using the flare, even though I should have used it already earlier, but I still had to try. To be able to do it without. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can easily go and shoot you specifically. I wonder, do those explode? Well, yes. I could have used those too, but I wasn't sure if it would actually work. So, hey. Do come closer. Aww. You just wanted to chase me like that now? Come here. Just, just come here. Lovely. I wanted to try it out. And we'll, uh... Screenshot title, Alan sighs as he snugs up a pawn again. <laughs> Not that close, no. Okay. Lovely, lovely. And then we can pick up even some more ammo, which is great. So we can have again full ammo. Always full ammo, that's, that's great. So, I'm just waiting when the inanimate objects are again starting to attack us. We'll see, we'll see. Oh. And has uh, Mike the Warmonger ever played Alan Wake before, I wonder? Can I not get out of here? <laughs> I just couldn't see the exit. <sighs> Annoying guy just pushing me away. I'm pressing the button to chase also that, but also before the other stuff. Just... Start dying, am I good, sir? No, you have not. I at least have enjoyed this pretty well thus far, Alan Wake. So, definitely been first, I'm certainly enjoying. Hope you enjoy watching then. We are a little bit further in the story already, though. So, we're in the third chapter. There's overall six chapters, and the first and the second we already played through previously. And this is the third one. Basically, we are after... Well, R5 has more or less been kidnapped. We are a writer and we are sort of living through our own horror story. That we don't remember writing, slash, so on and forth. In a remote place where we came because we were suffering from a boy writer's, writer's block. So, that's basic story thus far, slash, then there's all of this darkness indeed that... Is after us. In light you can hurt them. Yes, I, I know. That's like old news. Old news yellow text. Yes, that is a so useful tip that. That one. Definitely. So useful. I never would have been able to know that I could hurt them when there there is light. Never. Never has been done before. <sighs> Not in the previous fight or ever before. Never. Okay, are you gonna? Yes, let's uh, see what's on the TV about us again. I'm pretty sure. We take oh. the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in night springs. Night springs. We can enjoy some night springs again. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. What happened tonight? Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durlis. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um... Um, mm. okay. Hmm. <laughs> What? What did you? Gah. What? Oh. oh, Mr. Durlet, you have well pleased Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. 
Pixie Burka. Hostess Thousand Young, and all shall be glory. Oh. Uh, no! Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. Everything's just fine. Alan Durlitt learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. In Night Springs. In Night Springs, yes, so it is. Quite clearly. <laughs> Aw, I saw this one once. I gave it 3 out of 10. Alrighty. Hello, soul of fixing. I hope it, I'm saying it well enough. Welcome to the stream. <sighs> Night Springs, though. Hmm. Let's see, manuscript page, another one. So, wake attacked by the dark presence. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay, normally you can just watch my YouTube stuff. So you are then from... Uh, uh, why well, I've been awake. Just watch your YouTube stuff. Uh, so where are you from then? When this is the first time that you're at least on the Twitch stream. Hmm. Seems to be otherwise at least safe enough for now. Let's see. More stuff. Did we have any flares? Yes, we have plenty of flares too. But welcome to the Twitch stream then too, of course. Glad you joined up. Oh, that's the bulldozer that we read off before. Uh, and also other things. Um, okay. Yep, maybe, maybe. I need to move a little bit more when that is coming at us. Is it? It's absolutely all the time going to be coming at us. That sounds great. Let's just uh, drop a little flare. I'm not sure exactly how I'm... Well, I guess the light is the only thing that can kill it. I... I assume. Um... Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> exactly how to deal with that, but uh, we are at least almost dead. I guess I would really need to be using some lights into it. Like, necessarily to be able to destroy it. The problem is that there's also other stuff that I would need to destroy. For now, at least. Let's just try to get rid of these, I guess. Ow. That was not good. Let's just get this. No, I don't like the idea of having to be there. Ah, more Australian, yeah. Australia. 6 a.m. for me right now, yeah. That is real early. Uh, yeah, this, this situation does not look very fun. Yeah, EU is a hard time so far. Australia, unless I would be streaming in the daytime, but... Yeah. Of course, that's also a possibility, but... <laughs> oh, it's without Australia at the weirdest times on here. Hmm. Well, as not Jim Jim doesn't live in Australia right now, even though he is from there, as I understand. So. But uh, I'm not sure how to deal with this situation. Okay. Those are really annoying pipes. Ow. Ow. Stupid, stupid thing. Ow. <laughs> it's just so close. Okay, well. I gotta be able to deal with it. Hmm. Yeah, no, you didn't uh, move into here for that reason. That would be kind of silly. Okay, 
let's see if I can deal with some of these though, if possible that is. Guess I will try to light this thing a little bit too. Just need to be aware of it. Specifically for situations when it's rushing. Where is it even? There it is, okay. Just try to keep at it. Annoying. Why didn't you reload? I asked you to reload already earlier, but you didn't for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Don't I not have any more flares either? It's kind of my question. I tried to drop a flare. Oh, I can destroy these guys with this thing too. Which is nice to know as sus. But uh, not still something that I'm easily able to deal with. Damn it, this bulldozer is very annoying. <sighs> you dead, yes. Many times dead. Mm. Mm. Yeah, meeting half of people along the ways. I thought that he could jump over that, but fine. Don't then. Did I only really have only one flare? I thought that I should have more than one flare, though. I have to, but for some reason it didn't seem like I had more just a moment ago. Ugh. I should very much try to concentrate on this thing though. I think it was the wheels that I specifically could try to... Ugh. I tried to press the evasion again, but it's not easy to do. And of course, there's still the problem that then there's these other guys. <sighs> so, yeah, where in the East Coast you are then? It's a good question. I need to try to concentrate on this though. I guess I should maybe... I'm doing worse than I did earlier, but on the other hand, I'm trying a little bit different things. Okay. At least you drove over some guy. Ow! It's just so hard to be present and early enough at least to do the evade. When it's just rushing towards you like that. Let's reload the weapon at least. Hopefully it's gonna get a little bit more light from that. Is there going to be more of those guys too, is kind of my question. Yeah, there is. And like that guy who then nicely pushed me right in front of that thing. Ay -ay -ay. This is a very hard part from your memory. Well, good to know that I'm not alone in suffering with this. <sighs> mm. That's sort of a part. I, of course, don't know that well. <laughs> you gotta even remember this part of the game. Hmm. Okay. Well. I'm not sure even how to deal with this guy yet, so... Like, I would love to just concentrate on that guy, but kind of not possible after all. Like, concentrating into the bulldozer, I mean. At least it's something that you can sometimes use to your advantage, too. I doubt I can exactly be just shooting it. I hate it when they just come from behind, though. Ugh. That is so surprising that I avoided that. That is so freaking surprising, though. Trying to press the reload button, but I don't even manage to somehow reload. Okay, now I did. You can turn so much more than I would assume you would be able to turn to. I should be trying to stay on this side though. Preferably. Okay. Okay, uh... 
up that. Doing relatively decently for the moment, but of course, the problem is whenever it's starting to come into here, again, in different ways. You. Just stay away. Ow. Stupid guy. Okay. Let's just avoid that again. Reload the gun, please. If I can hope to at least only have this thing to be dealing with, then it's okay -ish, I hope. At least. But then it would be more okay. I doubt I can just run from here, though. At least I assume I can't. Would be great if I could destroy that... that darkness or some wheel from it. Yes, finally. Not that bad, then, in the end. Whew. <sighs> Okay, lovely. Good, we did it, woo! -hoo. Yeah, you go by far and height. So 20 is horrid weather conditions for you. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm -mm. 45 the other day, that's, that's, that's a lot of in, in Celsius for sure. Mm. Oh, and hello, Konias, as well. Sorry that I missed earlier that you also came around. Uh, everyone has been complaining to you for some reason. 45 is about 100 Fahrenheit, I believe. Mm. Okay. That is a lot, though. Yeah, that that is really bad. Really, really bad. It's really hot. I don't want to be in that sort of weather, for sure. Well, 45 Celsius is 113 Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's 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 a lot. That's just a teeny tiny bit a lot. But hey, I'm happy that I was able to do that now. Took a while, took a few tries, but a lot quicker than I really thought that I would have been able to deal with that situation, to be honest. You have not even done 45 in Australia, eh? What kind of an Australian are you? Chin Chim. I guess I could say. For the tree is as high as you can remember in Ganbera. Hmm. Interesting. I was hoping that there would be a checkpoint. Good. Checkpoint reached. Need to always go and visit in those lights for sure to be able to get some checkpoints. And yes, I did it finally. I can probably drive. So that's nice. We can drive away from here, hopefully. I guess actually drive. <laughs> How awesome I am. Glad yeah. To see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Couple of hours. Fight a tractor covered in darkness. Yes. Yeah, above board is too the much. Way too much. Now. 